So the last video I made was about lacrosse dying or dead. And perhaps I was being a little melodramatic about it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, give that video a watch. It's short and sweet. Essentially, lacrosse, which just stands for Linux and Chrome OS, is a standalone web browser for Chromebooks. As it stands right now, Chrome OS and Chromebooks and the web browser are kind of fused together as one. Different if you were to go to a Mac or a Windows computer in which the browser is separate from the OS, like every other computer. But this was supposed to be something new, something they were going to unveil, and we thought in this small community of ours that this was finally going to be released to the public only for Google to say that lacrosse is not the dream anymore. So as of Chrome OS 128, the browser that I and several others have been using will no longer be supported in favor of some alternative version to do with Android. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, look at the previous video, but this got me thinking about alternative web browsers in general and what would I have to use if I didn't have what I have now. This is probably a reason why some don't want to move to Chromebooks because while Chrome browser is the undoubtedly most popular web browser, it's not everybody's cup of tea. They might feel if they move to Chromebooks, then they will have to use the Chrome browser, which is not exactly true. You would have to have a Google account. So today I'm going to take a short glance into alternative web browsers. I'm going to be using the Android Play Store for web browsers for a part of this. I admit I'm not giving them a fair shake and some other browsers. And perhaps we'll find an alternative for this lacrosse that we are not losing. Okay, so let's just get into it. So the first browser that I want to try out is called Opera. So we just go and go to the website here. And as you can see that the default downloader is for Windows, but we're on Chrome OS. So that's going to be useless for us. I'm going to, at the top here where it says browsers, I'm going to be looking for something that says downloads, because that's where all the browsers download, no matter what your operating system you are on. Now, I don't know what these other two are, GX and Mini, so I'm going to stick to the default Opera browser. That, and we see we have the downloads for Windows, Mac, Linux, Chromebook, and Android, and iOS. And we see that Chromebook is represented, so that's a good sign. Now, but you also will see that this is going to be the same for the Android because the browser that it recommended is in the Google Play Store. Now, I've already downloaded this, so we'll open this in a sec. I'm not going to try every one of these browsers, ju just a couple for today. I already gave these a fair shot. We will see how these mobile operators browsers fair. I'm just going to open this right up. And this is going to be the home page. As you can see, all these icons are, they appear to be shaped like Android apps. Now, while some of these I might find useful, personally, I am not a fan of this aesthetic because this is the, what you're going to get like on a mobile phone, but this is obviously stretched out to a desktop proportions. But there are things you could do here. I'm sure that you can customize these, take some of these away as unlikely that you're going to use all these. I did come in here and I do live news on my home feed. So that's something you can do. You can change your wallpaper. There are several options that you have here. So there is some customized options you have on this browser. I think these are all called speed dials. That's where those apps are on front. You can toggle it on and off as well as the news the homepage and the such. So you do have some options. There also appears to be an AI built into the browser, but we'll set that up later at a later date. Okay. So next. We're going to try the Microsoft Edge browser, AI browser, or yes, AI is just that popular. We're going to hit this install. Again, never really tried this before. I'll, we'll see, you'll see later in the video where I think it's a better option. 
available than these Android uh, browsers. Although this is simplistic, and if you think about it, all you're going to use a browser for is to get to your web pages. But I could be wrong. Let me see. Okay, let's open this. And you remember, it's going to put you in a smaller window. So your phone or tablet window, you can hit resize. Of course, we don't want the phone version. Resizable is going to go to a full screen mode. And here we are. Now, this is perfectly fine. Let's see, reload this a little bit. I don't know why this screen is black. Maybe it just takes a while to load up the home page. But if we go here, we do have these little applications, these little options. You can see that it's still like a phone just being blown up. Okay, there we go. We can adjust our home page. Add news feed. I like always add I like to add a news feed. Move me out the way here. Okay, but honestly, I don't see myself using these mobile browsers to replace the lacrosse that I am losing. Like I said earlier in the video, I believe I have a better solution. So let's go back to Opera browser. And remember in the download page that we saw several versions. We chose the Chrome OS version, but we also saw there was a Linux version. So that is what I'm downloading now. Now you will be able to do this, assuming that you have the Linux virtual machine, the container that is operational. I have a video showing you how to do that. I'll put that down in the uh, description below. But once that file is downloaded, we will have the option to open that browser and that browser will be uh, not the mobile version, but the full desktop version just for Linux. Okay, so now that it's ready, we can open this up and you get the option to see, hey, if you saw this before, and this is going to be made if you want to sync your data from Chrome browser. So it's nice to have these little options. And again, we're shown to this familiar homepage, but again, this is different. This is the desktop version. And honestly, I've been using this a little bit on the side and it is what has replaced my Chrome browser yet. It is a pretty decent browser. I might do a video just in Opera. This is not sponsored in any way, which was hit me up. But otherwise, this is a very good browser. And like I said, this, what I believe is the superior version than the browser. Okay, so let's backtrack just in case you don't know. This is what you should see when you install this Linux application. Now you got to go into your Linux container. You'll hit install and it's going to be with the Linux apps. If you don't know about this, again, hit see the video that I did about not just download Linux, but also the App Store. That will be in the video description. And that's where you'll find these browsers. Now, when you use the Linux versions, you can pin them onto the shelf, but by default, they're going to be with your other Linux apps because it is considered a Linux app. Okay. Next let's try, uh, I remember this is the browser version of Microsoft edge, but like we said, the Linux versions are better in my humble opinion. So let's go get the desktop version. We go to download Microsoft. Edge, we get several versions, and it doesn't look like we have the option, which that ain't cool. We could do the web version, but I already heard that they do have a Linux version, just have to find it. And here we are, Linux again. You're going to accept and download, and it's going to start downloading over here, and we're going to find it in my files. I should clear a lot of these out. And we have this option again to install it with Linux, which is our only option to do. Just click here to install. And sometimes this happens where it's missing like a install packet. So this is also another reason why you should have an 
Linux app store ready on hand because I can't use this without this little portion here. And while this loads up, uh, uh, I'm going to need whatever packet that's missing from the downloader to install from the app store. So when that's ready, we just going to hit this install. All right, you'll get the option to launch. And here we are. This is full edge. So edge or the Chromebook seems to be a upcoming idea later on. But again, this seems to have more customized options, more options period than the version of edge that is on the Google play store. And it even has the co-pilot AI built in. If that's something you care about now. Here's another option that's like the odds option. Uh, you could just use Google Chrome. I can't believe I did not know this recently, but there is already a Linux version. Why this has to be a separate thing than Macross was not sure. So I just went ahead and go to the Google Chrome download. And of course there's a version for Linux right here. And it's just like all the rest. Just accept and download, and this will be separate. So a lot of the, you will have to sign in again. It will, on your computer, you know, you're going to be at the same computer. It's going to register as a separate computer, just so you know. So you have to authenticate a lot of this. I'm cutting a lot of this out of the video. So I don't see, you don't see too much of my private information, but it's pretty simple. And again, we'll have this same option. We'll click on install and here we are. This is the latest version of Chrome. I know it looks pretty much exactly like the regular Chrome because it is. And it's logged me out of all my extensions and applications. So I'll need to go through all the setup here. So those were the alternative web browsers that you could use instead of across. I know that they weren't all exactly alternatives as in my last example was literally Chromium browser. And there were other browsers that I've tried such as Chromium or Firefox, but the video was already blown. Now if you want more examples, please comment below. What browser do you want to see? See if I can get that installed or not. I don't know if I can install all the browsers. But that would do it for today. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to the channel. I do thank you for watching. It does mean a lot to me. But just thank you and take care. God bless.